Hello everyone and welcome back to Now I Know. Today we are going to talk about some of the genetics terms that we use frequently and that could be confusing sometimes. We have talked about genes and alleles in detail, homozygous, heterozygous and hemozygous also in detail. So here I'm going to give you a brief idea of all these terms and along with that some more new terms that we'll just have a look at that we frequently use. So let's start with the most common terms that we use that is genes and alleles, right? We know genes are specific sequence of nucleotides that means there are specific sequences of nucleotides that codes for particular thing that gives you something some kind of protein or that codes for a particular characteristics so that segment of nucleic acid in our dna is genes that we inherit that we get from our parents right so in simple terms genes are the sequence of nucleotides that codes for a particular characteristics what are alleles then alleles are nothing but a different version of the same gene okay it's a alternative or it's different version of the same gene that means there is a slight difference in the sequence that gives me a different kind of allele allele of the same gene for example simple way to understand this is a gene that codes for eye color pigment Okay, it's a gene that gives you eye pigment. We will get, since we are diploid, we will get a gene from mother and gene from father that gives us the eye pigment. So the work function of this gene is to give you eye pigment, right? But the allele will decide what color is going to be the eye color. That means there could be blue color eye, brown color eye. So gene is same but it does code for a different pigment so that variation is what is allele right since we are diploid if there is a gene that is present on chromosome number one let's say for example here somewhere here also on chromosome number one there is a gene that codes for eye color but this could code for blue color eye and this could code for brown color eye. So gene is same, but the allele is different. So allele is a different version, slightly different version of the same gene. Okay, I hope this is clear and uh, enough to understand. Now, based on what kind of alleles are present, we would either say a dominant allele or a recessive allele, right? We use these terms. What do we mean by that? And to understand this easiest example is from the Mendelian genetics. We have uh, talked about this. So here in the tall plant, you see the genotype is capital T and a small t. This is a allele that codes for plant to be tall. And this allele codes for the plant to be dwarf. Okay. This capital T is responsible for tall plant. And this small t is responsible for dwarf phenotype now when they together are present this capital t is overpowering or it does not allow the expression of this small t that means the capital t is getting expressed and this particular allele that gets expressed is what we call dominant allele okay and the other allele that is not getting expressed in the presence of dominant allele is called recessive allele so when can we see recessive allele when there are two copies of recessive allele we will see the phenotype then only it will get expressed if there is even one copy of dominant allele is present it is going to get expressed it is not going to allow the recessive allele to express that's why it is dominant allele so it is possible we might have two different alleles one i get uh, from my mother one i get from my father two different alleles one is dominant and one is recessive or it also could be a scenario where i get both dominant alleles or both recessive allele that is also a possible so either we have alleles that are different or we have alleles that are same if it is same simple enough to understand two dominant allele or two recessive allele if this is the phenotype again it is going to be a tall plant this is the phenotype it is going to be a short plant now from this we can have few more terms that is phenotype and genotype i just talked about the eye pigment something that you are seeing tall or short plant something that you are seeing something that you are able to observe is what we called 
phenotype okay what you see is phenotype but what is the responsible genetic composition behind that that is called genotype what we see directly is going to be phenotype and what is the responsible genetic composition behind that is genotype the best example for this to understand is let's go back to our mendelian genetics let's look at the monohybrid cross f2 generation we have seen an f2 generation getting three tall plants and one dwarf plant right we saw there were three tall and one dwarf plant now we don't know anything else other than the height of the plant that we are seeing we don't know what is the thing uh, what are the genes behind that what we see is three tall and one plant uh, one dwarf plant that means this is the phenotypic ratio ratio where we see three tall and one dwarf three is to one ratio so this is a phenotypic ratio this is what is phenotype but when you look at the genes or the the genetic composition behind it we found that in the f2 generation for tall plant there was one plant that had the both dominant allele two plants with one dominant and one recessive allele and one plant was with both recessive alleles this was the composition that we found in genotype right so genotype both dominant there is one dominant plus recessive there are two and both recessive there is one that means the genotypic ratio behind this phenotype was one is to two is to one that is how the tall plant for recessive or for the dwarf plant easy to understand both the alleles were recessive but for the tall plants there was one plant that was having both the dominant allele but there were two plants that had mix of dominant and recessive allele and we just saw here because there is a dominant allele present it is not going to let the recessive allele expressed now from this again we can have two more terms what you see over here these alleles are same right but here these alleles are different so these two same alleles when there are both same alleles we call it as homozygous homo means same so this is called homozygous this particular uh, composition is homozygous where both the alleles is same can i say this is homozygous yes we can right either it is dominant or recessive that doesn't matter but both the alleles are same that is when we call it as homozygous okay what about this both the alleles are different different means hetero right hetero is different so that means these two alleles are heterozygous simple hetero homozygous is you call something homozygous when there are two same alleles but if alleles are different you call them as heterozygous now from this once again uh, just a brief term easy to understand now let's say for example you are talking about tall plant and this tall plant has the genotype of capital T and capital T this plant has the genotype that is homozygous okay or if it is a dwarf plant then also it is the same thing these plants they have homozygous genotype right because they have both the alleles that are same this individual which has a homozygous genotype is called homozygote okay it's just a simple thing an individual we are talking about plant over here it has both the alleles same it's homozygous for that particular trait it is a homozygote but if an individual has a heterotype genotype that means both the alleles are different this is called heterozygote so if an individual has two different alleles it's a heterozygous for that particular alleles that individual is heterozygote okay so homozygous homozygote heterozygous and heterozygote easy to understand also just one last point to have a better understanding so what kind of gametes it will produce let's say for example if it is this particular uh, individual it will produce capital t capital t both the gametes that it is going to make is going to be 
same both dominant here also same small t and small t that means the gametes that are produced by homozygote is always going to be the similar from capital t capital t you only get capital t from small t small t it is going to be small t so it is going to be same the gametes from that uh, homozygote is going to be same but in case of heterozygote because there is a combination capital t and a small t your gametes are also going to be of two types capital t and small t this is an important point to understand when you go and when you study more about mendelian genetics and as you go on in the genetics just to understand when it comes to heterozygote because it's a heterozygote your gametes are going to be of two types but in homozygote it is going to be only the same type of gametes now for those who are appearing for the csi and net exam this november 2020 you guys must be in division phase don't forget to join in the unacademy revise india series happening from 1st november to 15th november where they are covering all the topics revising all the topics for part b type part c type and previous year question papers when you click on the link that is given in the description box it will take you to the revision page you will be able to see all the timetable all the different topics happening at different time they have divided all the topics throughout the day happening at different time slots so based on your requirement if there is a specific topic that you want to revise or there is a specific educator that you are following see to it when it is happening and join in for the live class for example on november 11th there is a revision class for ecology happening at 1 pm on november 12th there is a previous year question paper discussion happening for developmental biology at 2 pm just click on the notify me button and it will remind you when the class goes live and it's all completely free so make sure that you take complete advantage of it with that i wish you all the very best that's all that's all about the terms that we commonly use at least in this portion i have covered some maybe in future we'll cover some more um, as i understand we have new students joining in uh, now i know family students from class 11 and class 12 and this was a request based video if you guys still have some doubt you can let me know in the comments or you can reach out to me on my instagram page and dm me i'll try to include further videos maybe we'll do one more uh, part of uh, common terms that we use in genetics with that i hope this video was helpful and uh, i'll see you next time until then keep learning